hi guys uh, welcome back uh, in this video I will show you how to plot a sine wave in MATLAB uh, in order to plot any signal we should have two variable one is independent variable and the other one is dependent variable uh, the formula to uh, the formula for a sine wave in terms of time is x of t x of t is equal to amplitude a multiplied by sine of 2 pi f into t so a is the amplitude f is the frequency 2 pi is a constant and t is the independent variable so the amplitude x of t it is a function of time uh, the, the value of x of t depends upon what is the value of t and one more thing in MATLAB uh, pi if you type pi in the command window and if you press enter it gives this value so whenever you want a pi you use pi okay uh, uh, we shall write uh, a code in an editor window we'll go to new new editor window the first three line as I told you it should be CLC clears the command window clear all clears the variable value and close all close closes the figure windows uh, next I want to define what is the amplitude so I will define capital A is equal to 2 amplitude of sine wave this is amplitude of sine wave if frequency say I want 3 Hertz as the frequency and time actually unlike uh, amplitude and frequency time is not one number time is independent variable so time usually it is varying from minus infinity to plus infinity so in this case uh, I'll define time only for one second so 0 up to 1 the thing is no let me just come to command window and explain what's happening here if I type t is equal to 0 colon 1 and if I press enter so t gives only 0 and 1 value so in this case I am trying to define a sine wave with only two points at t is equal to 0 what is the sine wave and t is equal to 1 second what is the amplitude of the sine wave this should not be the case t uh, more the number of uh, samples uh, I mean I can say I am trying to plot sine wave in just two samples 0 and 1 it's better to have more points to get more points what I do t is equal to 0 in a steps of 0 0.1 up to 1 0 starting value is 0 and end value is 1 in a steps of 0 0.1 in the sense my t starts to start from 0 next is 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 dot 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 up to 1 so if I put this as my t value I'm sorry if I put this as my t value in my sine wave so what's happening here is I'm trying to plot sine wave in just 11 samples in, uh, including 0 even 11 samples does not uh, let me show you so t varying from 0 to sorry 0 0.1 up to 1 so starting value 0 1 up to steps of 0.1 yes done I have done amplitude I have defined uh, frequency and I have different time now I'll, I'll plot xt I cannot put x of t something like this in MATLAB so uh, it has some other meaning I'll let you know what it is later so xt I'll put it as xt is equal to a amplitude of the sine wave multiplied by which is star sine of 2 2 multiplied by 2 pi into f frequency which is 3 hertz and time t I'll put uh, let me show you what's happening what happens if I put semicolon and if you don't put semicolon in this view let me save it first I'll save it in my working space which is in e drive uh, MATLAB working space I'll take it as sine plot sign I'll write my plot sign 
dot m okay i'll run this code i'll run this code so what happened here now so since i did not put semicolon to xt uh, i uh, xt value is reflected in the command window uh, let me just take off semicolon in all the lines and i'll show you what what happens if i take semicolon in all the lines see uh, a I'll, I'll just scroll up i did not put semicolon to a so it's reflecting the value of a i did not put semicolon to f it's reflecting the value of f similarly i did not put semicolon to t it's reflecting and again xt it's reflecting it's up to you if you really want your result to be reflected in the command window uh, you don't put the semicolon if you don't want it if you want your command window to be clean you can put semicolon uh, for time being I, I want to show what's happening in this so I'll just, I'll, I'm not going to put semicolon uh, to xt actually what is this xt so xt what do I have in xt xt right hand side of xt is what a times sine of 2 pi ft so uh, let me just tell you what is t yeah fine uh, sin 0 is this amplitude of sin 0 is 0 sin 0.1 is 1.9 sin 0.2 is this sin 0.3 is this sin 0.4 is sin 0.5 dot 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 up to sin 1 again 0 so I'm trying to plot sine wave in just 11 samples if we want this to be plotted I mean yeah if I want this to be in figure as I have explained to you in the previous video uh, just G U R E figure of one uh, I want continuous uh, time uh, let me show you samples first S T E M of uh, the format is first argument I need to pass is extra area uh, x axis comma y axis usually x axis is time so i'll put time here comma y axis is it's a function of time whichever is a function of time a function of time is xt so it is xt i'll run <coughs> yes so what happening what's happening here no time equal to 0 time equal to 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 dot 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 up to 1 at time t is equal to 0 it is 0 at time t is equal to 0 0.1 it is 1.92 somewhere here and this goes on uh, this is actually samples of sine wave say if i want it to be in continuous time what you do instead of stem you make it as plot and run it So, uh, if you look at this plot supposed to be sine wave since I defined a sine wave but I am not getting this in terms of sine wave the reason behind this is because I did, I did not take enough sample to look uh, to make this as sine wave I have plotted with only 11 samples so that's why it's not uh, looking as sine wave so what we shall do is something else actually I can explain you in some other way with respect to sampling frequency but for time being I will show you I'll just give you uh, what's just happening so what I do instead of t varying from 0 to 1 make t varying from 0 to 0 I mean 0 to 1 with a step of 0 0.1 I will show you 0 to 1 in a sense of 0 0.1 let me show you here what's happening t is equal to 0 0 0.01 up to one so how many points i get in this case i get thousand one point sorry uh, one not one point so what does it mean starting from zero up to one you put in a steps of 0 0.01 so 0 0 0.01 0 0.02 0 0.03 dot 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 up to one so in this case i'm trying to plot my sine wave in one not one samples uh, i'll run it yeah see so in this case i have totally one not one samples whereas in the previous case i was uh, trying to put the sine wave in just 11 samples 
so more no, more the number of samples more nicely uh, the waveform looks so rest of the things i mean since i have put amplitude as 2 so yeah so i have amplitude plus 2 and minus 2 since i have put frequency as 3 so i have totally 3 cycles 1 2 and 3 uh, frequency so number of cycles per second so that's why that's the reason i took one second at the time so so there are three cycles in one second so it is a three hertz signal sine wave uh, similarly if you want to have a cos wave see instead of sine you make it as cos which start from 90 degree yeah this is a three hertz cos cosine wave with two and minus two if you want to change the amplitude you change the value here phi uh, if you put phi it, it will vary from plus phi to minus phi similarly you can put you can change to say 10 0 to 10 and you can run it you get 10 uh, per uh, per second it's a 3 hertz so per second you get 3 cycles and 10 means you get totally Take 10 into 3, 30 cycles of cosine wave <coughs> and you can play you can change the values and you can see what's happening uh, thank you for watching